For the last three decades, the global movement of government numbers significantly increased from cash basis accounting towards accrual basis accounting. In the year 1990s, Australian state government also adapted the accrual basis accounting to replace or complement the cash basis of accounting in the system whereby it is produced for government and finance statistics due to Australian public sector found that the accrual basis accounting is the best solution to solve the problem of the traditional cash basis accounting that occurs. Why Australia migrates from cash basis to accounting basis? First of all, due to the fiscal problem in the 1980s. In the 1980s, this problem resulted in the demands for reliable performance report, beneficial information to help the manager on cost of control, as well as the identification of cost and liabilities incurred. Other than that, program and performance of Australia need to be defined in the aspect of financial matter rather than objective and policies achievement. Secondly, the encouragement of government and other institutions. The Public Service Committee of the International Federation of Accountants encouraged all government in many countries, including Australia, to migrate to accrual accounting and adopt international public sector accounting standards. Other than that, regional and international financial institutions like the ASEAN Development Bank, the World Bank, the United National Development Bank, and International Monetary Fund strongly agree that developing nations need to move to accrual accounting. This is because they believe accrual accounting to fulfill the demand for efficiency towards performance management which leads to public sector of Australia to have a high quality and comprehensive information in the government's accounting report. Besides, a major motive for the migration from cash basis to accrual basis in Australia is to increase government efficiency through implementation of output-based budgeting. Australian government employ accrual measure for the output-based budgeting system is because accrual budgeting amount more reflect precisely on the future liability that somehow was ignored under the implementation of cash budgeting. Next, the migration to accrual basis accounting is due to the call for greater transparency and accountability in the public sector. The actual best financial statement provide the most reliable, relevant, comparable and useful information to the user of the financial information. It is also offer benefit from the point of view of governments Australia on the accountability, transparency and financial management. First, it provides more comprehensive view of the cost of government activity and the government financial performance. Second, it helps to focus better attention on the policymaker and the public on the disposal, acquisition, government's management of asset liabilities and contingent liabilities. Therefore, the credibility of Australia government is enhanced and the public can gain better confidence in the financial management ability when the government has produced relevant and useful financial data. The last reason for this migration is due to the opportunity to improve the asset and liability management. Accrual based reporting is defined as recognizing asset and liabilities in existence as at the reporting date. It is critical that a public sector need good asset management, which particularly given the most significant asset are long life infrastructure asset. These assets are essential to provide a foundation for the economic growth of Australia. When using a cash-based system, the focus is on whether or not to spend on new assets. However, in a cruel-based system, the focus also extends to whether to upgrade or retain the existing asset. Besides, accrual-based reporting provides useful information on the real level of government's liability and obligation. By means, such information enable them in controlling their cash position to plan any suggestion for future funding or obligation requirements. The person or people who is responsible for this migration are the government of Australia itself, whereby in the process of migration, they have made simultaneous use of two accrual accounting frameworks which are government finance statistics and Australian accounting standard. Government finance statistics is a system under Australian Bureau of Statistics where it is designed to deliver statistical information for all entities in Australian public sector. Meanwhile, for the second accrual accounting framework which is AAS 31 that is under Australian accounting standard is a special standard that has been developed to implement the same principles as the business standards and make allowances 
for different arrangements of administration in government which under AS31, the implementation of full accrual basis of accounting is required whereby the revenue expenses, assets and liabilities are recorded in financial statements when they have their economic impact on the government. AAS 31 and GFS are equally a valid system where there are minor terminological differences between both frameworks whereby in financial statements, the term net assets is used in AAS 31 but in GFS, it is referred as net worth. Moreover, in the operating system, both AAS 31 and GFS differ in their treatment of revaluations whereby GFS has excluded most revaluations from the operating system whereas AAS 31, the revenue or expense items are the most revaluations. And the last difference is for the treatment of abnormal whereby the operating balance in GFS has only one measure which excludes most of all the items that AAS 31 treat as abnormal. These differences between both frameworks has led to some confusion in the result of the budget analysis where it will confuse stakeholders to determine which framework will produce reliable financial information for the Australian government. However, this issue was settled by the process of harmonizing the GFS and AAS frameworks where it results in greater usefulness and increases the transparency. Next, we move on to the next part which is the impact of the migration of cash to accrual basis. The first impact is on financial reporting whereby the transactions will be recognized and recorded at the time when the economic value change. The second impact is that accrual basis accounting has led to the introduction of two different types of frameworks which is the GFS and AAS. The third impact is on the finance function where Australia has also experienced professionalization and modernization whereby they have to adopt more advanced technologies. And the last impact is on budget system where budget system preparation has to be shifted from cash to accrual basis. So, in conclusion, the Australian state government has adopted the accrual basis accounting to replace the cash basis whereby it has several reasons to migrate that involve Australian government.